Hi and welcome to another episode of Computer Fundamentals. So whether you're a beginner at computers or an expert, everybody makes mistakes. Today, that's what we're talking about, is making mistakes and how to undo those mistakes. So the main thing is to keep calm and control Z. Now what does that mean exactly? Basically, your computer does have uh, programs that you run, and most of these programs, if not all of the ones that you use, will have an undo command on them. So let's talk about how to actually use that undo command, and then we'll talk about what it does. So if you're using a Windows PC, then you do a Control Z to undo any command that you've done previously while that program is open. And that's what the two buttons look like. You hold down the Control button, and then you press the Z button. On a Mac, it's con Command plus Z, and that looks like that. Those are those two buttons. And so moving ahead, if your last command was, say, adding or pasting text to a document, then to undo that, you would hold down Control and press Z, and it would undo that text. If your last change was deleting something, undo will actually restore that text. Keep in mind that, like I said before, these programs keep tr uh, track of each of your previous changes as long as the program is open. If you close the program and open it again, you won't be able to undo the previous changes that uh, were done before. So if you have un if you do undo and then you realize that you actually did want to have that, then you would redo that function, which is Control Y. Okay, so uh, or Command Y if you're using a Mac. So let's say you have 10 pictures on a PowerPoint presentation and you inserted them all individually and you wanted to delete five of them or undo five of those moves, your most recent moves, then you would press Control Z five times. Let's say you accidentally clicked it six times, you did Control Z six times. You would want that one back, that's when you would use this function right here, Control Y to redo it. So I hope this has helped you today uh, understand why uh, this, this uh, Control Z function is important. Uh, as far as my students go, they need to uh, know this every semester. It's amazing that uh, users aren't more familiar with this function. So it's a very, very good function, very, very useful shortcut. So I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, please like and subscribe and put any video requests in the uh, comment section. Thank you.